And in this particular case, they also had a, I saw a stainless steel cup. Mm -hmm. And what they were doing is they were pour, pouring toxic substance, you know, like poison, because mm -hmm. um, I felt like I'd been really poisoned. And, yeah. uh, and then they took the energy of that poison and then put that through the signal line. Um, so we did further research, identified the location of the facility, which is in North Korea. Mm -hmm. um, we found that this room is suspended by cables and it's inside of this big dome chamber. Inside the chamber, there's some type of ionized gas or there, there's some type of active gas inside the chamber that is intended to prevent remote viewers from penetrating mm -hmm. inside the chamber. Then, outside the chamber, there's a building constructed mm -hmm. and it's in the shape of a school. Then what they do is they have children play in a corridor outside the chamber and they actually, you know, they give them sugar, they give them drugs, they, they get them hyped up as much as possible so they'll mm -hmm. produce as much energy as possible and that's also kind of the psychic masking so if someone tunes into that facility well, they mm -hmm. get a school, okay, there's children playing and children energy and they get distracted by that. Yeah. In remote viewing terms, that's, ter that's called an attractor. And many, right. many remote viewers will place odd objects in their house, in their office, where mm -hmm. they do the remote viewing or where they might be targeted themselves. They put all kinds of unusual objects. Um, and that tends to distract someone that's trying to tune into them, trying to view them. Mm -hmm. um, then outside that building, there was uh, another building which, <coughs> which was uh, get gremlins. <laughs> yeah, um, which looked like a school. Mm -hmm. They actually had classrooms and desks and chalkboards and the whole thing, but that was kind of the command and control center. And there were people there that were dressed to look like teachers, but they were actually military personnel. Mm -hmm. um, so then we followed the trail even further um, and discovered that the Chinese government plans on building a psychic army of children um, because they've found that uh, children are the most psychic, they have the most abilities, they're the best remote viewers generally starting at about age six. And uh, we discovered that they have plans to build a 1,000 mm -hmm. child psychic army. So can we stop it here for a sure. minute? Uh, I want to go backwards for a minute. I would like to remind you, we had told you the story where in one of those conferences how some of us had actually been under an attack that mm -hmm. had physical consequences like the burning on the face. And so we've talked about that now. I want to ask you, when these things happen, and they're not isolated, uh, you know, as we know, um, it, I, how does that affect you? Uh, uh, how, do you how do you help him? I, I mean, try to get a remedy here if we can. Well, we talk about it. He tells uh -huh. me this is happening right now, or at the, that one time he mentioned uh, the equipment going just Mm -hmm. totally crazy um, he would pick up a printer and actually like throw it on the floor in that rage so I just try to calm him down and we talk about it and we try mm -hmm. to analyze where is it coming from or he doesn't take notes mm -hmm. so I take a piece of paper and I just write right right mm -hmm. and he tells me I see this and I take notes and then we mm -hmm. compare it and we analyze it and we go back so yeah I take it seriously yeah, well, that's really wonderful, you know, that, that you know how to handle this because the way things are going now, everybody's in rage and in fear and in mm -hmm. chemtrails and all these other things. So uh, I don't think anger management classes are, <laughs> are doing as well as what you do here. Well, yeah. I have to... Would be a correct assumption? Yeah, it is. In, you know, it's important that a person has somebody they can talk to about. Right. It's important that they also, you know, if anybody is a target of this type of technology, mm -hmm. it's important that they recognize that those aren't their feelings. Um, yeah. There was some soldiers recently came back from Afghanistan. There was three of them mm -hmm. who kind of went berserk and killed their wives. And it's quite possible that they were subjected to that same type of technology. Yeah. And if a person knows that it, it's out there, they know that they can be targeted, and they can say, OK, this isn't me. It's going to pass. I'm just going to go sit down, and, mm -hmm. it, and it'll go away eventually. Right. And if, and, and just, just to illustrate how, just how 
Well, I don't have a word for that uh, other than stupid, maybe. Uh, it's not really stupid, but that's the word that I want to use. Shortly after I came back from where I had been and that attack had taken place, mm -hmm. I opened my oven and it was burnt. I mean, somebody had baked something and it burned. Hmm. And I became so enraged. I thought, I thought I had almost like a primal scream type thing. Yeah. I thought it was 50 years of dirty ovens just all came to the surface. Mm -hmm. And it was really stupid. But as soon as, and it started on the bottom of my feet, mm -hmm. and I could just come mm -hmm. feel it going oh, yeah. up this way. Right. And by the time it got here, I said, this is not mine. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I slammed the oven door because I had nobody to talk to, you see. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And, that, and that's what it feels like, and, and you, you feel this energy, and yeah. your body just vibrates, and you just feel like your head's going to explode right. almost, and uh, your heart races, and you're, you know, you have adrenaline pumping through your system, mm -hmm. and it's, and it's like you're being taken for a ride, and, yeah. and mm -hmm. it's not, and it's not you, and it's the interesting thing. Um, like that's a, a primal scream is the only mm -hmm. thing I can compare it to. Yeah. Because you hear it, you look at it, and there's nothing you can do about it. Mm -hmm. What helps me is to realize there is people behind this. Mm -hmm. It's not something coming out of space, something I don't know. People are afraid of what they do not know. Mm -hmm. We fear the unknown. And uh, it will happen around that time when Timbo tossed the printer on the floor in his big rage that we had like five or six different phone lines in the office, and the last one was disconnected, and that one rang on that afternoon. It mm -hmm. was so strange. So I picked it up and I answered, um, saying the company name and, and who I was. And the person on the other side said, well, is Mr. So-and-so there, some Mexican name. Totally unexpected, very suspicious. <laughs> so I just said, no, sorry, put it down. And I realized, OK, somebody's doing it, and they are checking it out. Mm -hmm. So they can hijack probably our phone lines, the too. phone lines and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that particular one that was disconnected and it rang mm -hmm. and it didn't ring again yeah. ever. So I knew, okay, somebody's doing this. And if I know that there are people out there doing it, mm -hmm. you know, people like me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it calms me down. Yeah, well, that, I'm, I'm glad we discussed, uh, you know, what we can do about it. Sometimes it takes a few seconds before you realize that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to loop it back. We were talking about the psychic children, uh, the intent to have an army of so many. Now, uh, uh, in, let's see, about two years ago, we did a show. It was called, um, oh, like with Barbara McGuire, we were talking about Starseed. And one of the things we had discussed there is about some of these children that have, I can say that word, have these extra, we have 84 of them, and we only use codons. Mm -hmm. What are they uh, called? Oh, yeah. Hmm? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Not genes. Right, the DNA strand. Yeah, there's yeah. the strands and there's yeah, the, right, the, the, the other word. That's what I'm Genomes. Or the, I know what you're talking about, yeah. Uh -huh. But help me. I have to mm -hmm. tell the friends what I'm talking about. Yeah, they, they have it's extra DNA. Genetic information. It, 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 yeah. it, it's codons, I think. Is that it, what it it's is? Called. Yeah, and okay. so anyway, and they are activating those so they can use all the capabilities mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. available to them. So we have discussed that. I just can't remember the word. Sorry. Chromosome? So no. 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 Yeah. Then back to you. Um, <coughs> so, you know, one of my first questions was, well, okay, we know this is going on. We have an idea where it may mm -hmm. be coming from. And then the next question is, you know, why me? Um, yeah. And then I talked to some other sensitives who uh, were experiencing the same thing. And apparently, we were selected for um, testing because we were sensitive because they could tune into us and see okay what was the effect um, mm -hmm. we were kind of known quantities we <laughs> instead of picking someone that they didn't know mm -hmm. apparently they had gotten information about us from somewhere um, Lin Buchanan has actually been under surveillance by the Chinese for a very long time when mm -hmm. he, the, he said the first day that he went into the remote viewing program um, he uh, kept encountering this Chinese girl. And when he went to their office, he said, OK, well, I met everybody, but where is the Chinese girl? <laughs> um, he had seen her so much that he just assumed that she worked as part of, you know, mentally he had seen her, mm -hmm. encountered her uh, telepathically so much that he had assumed that she'd worked as part of the American program, but mm -hmm. she wasn't. Um, 
So it would be logical that they would target someone like him because they've already got an extensive file on him. They know what his capabilities are and his sensitivities, and they could get uh, some mm -hmm. sort of feedback. Um, and actually, the woman who uh, targeted him initially that he kept seeing, he said he has seen in this book. Mm -hmm. um, and after he mentioned that, I tried to find a copy of this book and mm -hmm. have looked for it for a long time and finally found this copy in Australia. in Australia. This book is virtually impossible to get in the U.S. Um, but if anybody has a copy of this book, I'd love to buy another one. Do so. you know, uh, here, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll show it to you again. Now, originally with the remote viewing, uh, we had called to show martial arts for the mind. Okay. And so, let's go to the, to the actual Chinese, mm -hmm. uh, some of the background and why it wouldn't be anyone else? Uh, well, the Chinese government mm -hmm. um, treats their psychics um, with reverence. They're Very considered good, yeah. to be national treasures. Yeah. And when they identify someone who has special abilities, they actually put that person under military protection. Mm -hmm. They probably then work for the military. Yeah. Um, the Chinese now actually train um, school children starting in grade school they offer a certain amount of training to all of the children, knowing that a certain percentage of them will respond and will then start to show abilities. Mm -hmm. Those children are then kind of isolated and brought into uh, further training. Um, mm -hmm. The United States doesn't do that. The United States does not treat, um, on a scientific level, psychic ability with uh, a lot of respect. Yeah. Um, most of our scientific institutions are still trying to prove that psychic ability is real and that it actually works. I mean, they've mm -hmm. done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of studies and they just keep repeating the same things. So, oh, wow, this is interesting. But they never get to the next step. Okay, so what is it good for? They, the Chinese right, yeah. reached that stage back in the early 80s. Mm -hmm. So they're way ahead of the United States in uh, development of psychic ability. They have people that can do amazing superhuman feats. They've got a guy that can walk through walls. Um, one of the things that many children can do is they can remove pills from a sealed bottle. They just hold the bottle or they set it in front of them and pretty soon the pills show up over there. And then they break the seal on the bottle it's and they open apart, it. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's kids that can write from a distance. It can be a piece of paper sealed in a container in another room and they can mentally write um, characters, images, words, uh, sentences on that piece of paper. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that's very common is what they call... Uh, ear reading. Uh, ear reading, yeah. They take a piece of paper that's folded up, they can't see, and they just put it up next to their ear and they can read with their ear or with their foot or their finger. Um, well, I haven't heard that but a, a few years ago. Uh, it reminds me of something. Mm -hmm. There was, a, I think, the gentleman was Chinese. Mm -hmm. uh, we couldn't pronounce his name, and we called him Jingle Bell. Oh, okay, Remember yeah, Jing, that? yeah. And he did <laughs> face readings. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, Jing in his face reading. I remember Jing. Uh huh. Um, but he was accurate. He was. He was uh, very accurate. I want to put this in here. I met this gentleman uh, on the street in Ch in Chehalis, Washington, and he walked up to me and he said, "You need to get your gallbladder fixed." Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, that's strange because I no longer had a gallbladder, right? <laughs> and so we chatted for a minute, and he says, well, I'm a face reader. Mm -hmm. And he mentioned sound. Right. Um, that's why I remembered him. And so I went on my merry way, and within a few weeks, I had to go back to the hospital because one of the gallstones had got away f doing the surgery, and it was mm. just randomly going around in there. And so he was right. Well, I see. And he said it was off the face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and that's one of the things that they do too is medical diagnosis, healing. Mm -hmm. um, there's one of the psychics that uh, does mass healing. He has these um, presentations where he projects chi energy, and mm -hmm. there'll be sometimes tens of thousands of people there. And people who've been in wheelchairs for years will get up, you know, mm -hmm. similar to what occurs sometimes here with, you know, with the faith healing here. Can, can um, you define chi energy? Um, chi energy is kind of like the, the universal animating life force. Similar uh, to Reiki? Um, well, Reiki is a very specific energy 
manipulation method. Uh, Reiki energy, and to me, Reiki energy feels different. I